Oh, hey. I didn't see you there. I'm just doing my daily training regimen. If you want to learn how to be a monk like me, then watch the video. And subscribe. Alright pals, welcome back to another video. Today we're on the Dragon Galaxy pre-patch on the Windwalker Monk. Uh, I've got a target dummy with me here. I'm going to go over some of the Monk burst rotations. Uh, honestly, Windwalker Monk's pretty simple, uh, but people did request a video for this, and I do plan to put my Windwalker a lot in Dragon Galaxy. So I will go over some stuff really quick before I go into it. So quickly, here's the talents. If you guys want to find these, you can go to my stream, twitch.tv slash palmore, uh, exclamation point Windwalker talents or WW talents in the chat. We'll pull up uh, an export for this. Um, but yeah, this is what the talents are looking like. Like your main sources of damage on Windwalker is going to come from your Zwen. It's going to come from your Kiefer Skyreach effect, which is the same thing as the Legendary that we had in Shadowlands. Uh, and then it's also going to come from this ability that's returning from Legion called Strike of the Windlord. Um, these are your main big sources of damage. Of course, um, Stormworth and Fire as well. But this kind of just gets paired in. You have two charges. You're always going to use a charge when you're doing your burst. Anyways, what a rotation is going to look like is usually you want to have a couple Chi built up. You have a talent right here. So it means your Tiger Palm will actually generate an additional Chi. So when you first Tiger Palm somebody, you're going to get three chi um if you press expel harm you're playing this pvp talent you get two chi right away tiger palm is going to put you to five this is plenty for what you need for your burst so what it's going to look like ideally um usually on a windwalker you want to in cap your target before you leg sweep them the reason you do this is because it gives your team time to set up uh so let's say i'm playing an arena i in cap the kill target it gives my team time to get cc on his teammates to make sure they can't peel us on our setup or it just means that uh, it just secures the leg sweep. If we're going, if we're trying to leg sweep something like a, a demon hunter, they have a lot of ways to avoid our stun. So if you simply in cap them into a leg sweep, they have no way to immune it. Now something that sucks is that Zwen does AOE am uh, AOE damage constantly, so this will break your para. So if you do want Zweno to min-max your damage, what you can do is you can actually be far away. If you actually in-cap your target and then de-target them and press Zwen, it will actually summon Zwen on top of you. Uh, and then you can kind of roll into a leg sweep. Uh, and this is like a trick I do a lot of the time, just to secure I can get the most damage. But yeah, we'll go over what the actual rotation is for how to maximize your burst. Uh, and then maybe I'll break it down in slow motion and show you guys. Like I said, Windwalker, pretty simple one. Uh, and some of the strongest bursts in the game. So yeah, I'm not actually going to be using the Covenant abilities like Bone Dust and stuff. Because that's going to be gone from the game. Of course, you can respec it down here in the future. But I don't even know if I'll play it. But yeah, this is what it's going to look like. So to min-max your damage, um, ideally you're going to have full Chi. So I'll just get full Chi for the example anyways. You are going to in-cap the kill target. You're going to call out Zwen with them untargeted, roll into them with a leg sweep. Then, at the same time, you're going to call out your Storm Earth and Fire and use Tiger Palm. And then you're going to repress Storm Earth and Fire to fixate your images. And you're going to press Strike of the Windlord. Now, this is going to do a massive amount of damage. After this, you can either RSK into a Fist of Fury or Fist of Fury into an RSK. It kind of depends on how much damage you do. If they're really low and you think you can one-tap them, obviously you could just press RSK and probably kill them. Uh, if not, you can do a lot more DPS with Fist of Fury. Also, Fist of Fury, something to be reminded about, is uh, with Turbo Fist, obviously you'll be parrying attacks in front of you. So if the target shrinks out of your stun, it might be better to just channel a full Fist for DPS. <clears throat> and then after you use Fist and RSK, you're just going to go into a Whirling Dragon Punch. Alright guys, so I'll go ahead and show you what that actually looks like now. I'll just use a Punching Bag to get full Chi really quick. Um, once again, we're going to in-cap our target, unselect them, call it Zwen, roll into your target, Leg Sweep Images, Tiger Palm, Fixate Images, and a Strike of the Windlord, and RSK. Now if they're really low, you can press Touch of Death like that, that'll happen actually a lot. And once again, if not, you could like Expel Harm or Tiger Palm again to get enough Chi to use Fist of Fury into a Whirling Dragon Punch. Um, this is a lot of burst, and I do actually think that in Dragonflight, Windwalker is going to be really, really, really strong. Their actual consistent DPS is looking really good as well. But yeah, I'll break that down in slow motion for you guys, and uh, yeah. Alright guys, so breaking it down in slow motion, really simple stuff. You're just going to leg sweep your kill target and call out your images. Then you're going to use Tiger Palm and fixate your images onto the target. You're going to follow this up with a Strike of the Windlord, and then you can either go into a Fist of Fury or RSK. Usually it'll be RSK. Uh, after this, you can look to touch of death if your opponent's really low, like in this video. Uh, and if not, you can use another chi builder like Tiger Palm to get enough chi to use Fist of Fury and follow that with like a Whirling Dragon Punch. Anyways, boys, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you guys want... Uh, to ask me any questions, I stream usually every single day at twitch.tv slash palamore. I'm going to be streaming a lot in Dragon Galaxy, obviously. Uh, I just finished a 48-day subathon where I streamed 24-7 for 48 days, so I'm actually taking a small break right now. Uh, but yeah, it would mean a lot to me if you guys could like the video, drop a comment. Uh, make sure you take care of your baby carrot if you know what I'm saying. Shit. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.